Tic Tac. When several colors are printed on top of each other, there is a limit to the amount of ink or toner that can be put on paper. This maximum total dot percentage is referred to as either tick total ink coverage or tag total area coverage. When a designer ignores this technical limitation, the ink that gets laid down last won't attach properly to the previous layers, leading to muddy browns in neutral areas. The ink also won't dry properly on the press sheets. This can cause set off where the ink of a still wet sheet rubs off on whatever is stacked on top of it. Specifications for total ink coverage. Ink coverage is specified as a percentage, using 100% of each process color, cyan, magenta, yellow and black equals 400% tick. The actual maximum that is acceptable depends on a number of parameters. The printing process, digital, sheet offset, web offset, heat set or non-heat set, laser printer. The paper stock coated or uncoated. The speed at which the press, how many colors are printed simultaneously, since intermediate drying time is important. To know the tick that the printer can handle, it is best to consult with them. The following percentages are industry averages. Sheet fed offset on coated paper, typical commercial printing jobs, 320 to 340%. Heat set web offset such as magazines 300 to 320%. Swap 300%. Non heat set web offset on uncoated paper such as newspapers 240 to 260%. In a 2011 analysis of thousands of advertisements that were sent to Dutch newspaper printers, 53% of all those ads had attack above 240%. The prepress systems at those sites fix this by reseparating the files, which is not too difficult to do with today's prepress systems but it is still a major hassle. I haven't found much information on inkjet devices or copiers but in general, these systems seem to be able to handle values between 300 and 350%. How to avoid exceeding total area coverage? One error that is frequently made is to use the registration color for design objects. Since registration equals 100% of each separation, the total ink coverage is always exceeded when this color is used. Never use registration for design elements. Incorrect separation settings in Photoshop are also a possible reason why images are too heavy. The default color settings of Photoshop are optimized for web-coated paper. Another easy way to cause tick-related issues is the inappropriate use of overprint. How to check total ink coverage? Adobe Acrobat Professional has a total area coverage setting in the output preview settings. This can be found in the print production tools. You specify a threshold value and any area within the PDF that exceeds this value is highlighted. The screen capture below shows page areas highlighted in green wherever total area coverage exceeds 280%. The cursor is positioned in the lower left corner of the statue with Acrobat showing the ink coverage for that spot. Similar functions are offered by several ProPress systems, which can check complete press sheets for any tick-related issues. Ink coverage indicator in the separations preview window. There are pre-flight tools like in Focus Pit Stop that can check total ink coverage. Keep in mind that some of these applications only check vector objects and don't check within images or take over prints into consideration. Please do not forget to click the like button given below the video apart from the social media where it is shared. You can also share this video to other social media, like WhatsApp, LinkedIn, Telegram, Twitter, etc. As this video is produced for knowledge sharing only to enhance the knowledge of students and professionals across the industry. If you subscribe the channel, you will automatically be notified for informations or notifications of our new video releases. Thanks for watching.